Hi, my name is Sabrina Abbott. Welcome to the first and probably last episode of Artsy Fartsy. Today, I'll be showing you how to make a masterpiece. Would you like to be able to create something like this? How about this? Or maybe this? Hey, you're gonna learn how to make this. The COVID Canvas. The great art activity for all ages. For this project, you will need a black pen of some sort, or black paint, a piece of paper if you'd like to do it on paper, or a canvas if you'd like to do a painting. Uh, if you're doing paper, you'll need something like markers of different colors, or of course, you can always use crayons. You'll want to have some sort of newspaper or paper underneath your white blank piece of paper or canvas. And then you say, oh my gosh, I'm so sick and tired of being self-isolated, quarantined, whatever you want to call it. Sick and tired of it. Now admire your nice work with your beverage of choice. Mine is water. Ah, oh, that's some good water. Now that we've got our aggression out, we're gonna calmly color in all those white spots with different colors. is inspired by Mondrian, who was a Dutch artist, born in 1872, died in 1944. He was a pioneer of 20th century abstract art. He evolved a non-representational, that means this doesn't represent anything, Except mine kind of does because it represents my quarantine time art form. He limited his color palette to three primary colors, red, yellow, and blue, and uh, primary values of black, gray, and white. And he only did generally horizontal or vertical lines, like his squares. Mine are obviously all over the place lines. Now because I am not Mondrian and I want to use more colors, I'll be using any color I feel like. And you, please feel free to do the same. Now Mondrian did have enormous influence on uh, 20th century art. He influenced color field painting, which uh, this is close, if you're painting, abstract expressionism, minimalism, and he even influenced design, fashion, and architecture. Now because my children don't do a good job of putting the caps on their markers, you can see the ink has been running out, not working very well, I will be switching to crayon. Again, this project you can use marker, crayon, paint, whatever you like. You can even draw little patterns in some of these squares if you want. Doesn't really matter. Or you could do the thing where you put crayon in and then go over with marker to see what that looks like. And oh yeah, you can kind of see the crayon coming through. Wow. Now you might need to go over some of your black lines like I had to do because my pin wasn't very good to make them darker or thicker. Whatever you like, you can add a few more lines if you want as well, just whatever you like. Join me next time as I teach you how to draw like Leonardo da Vinci.